and welcome to my new video. As usual, I will walk you through the history of Scotland from the Roman era to 18th century or the Second World War. I hope you will like this video and if I earn your subscription, like or comment, thank you. Camo Estate has few dominant sites. First is the water tower, built in the early 19th century. This unique landmark is a testament to the skills of Edinburgh early architects. Its water tank can hold 1500 gallons of water for the surrounding farm, steading and the stables. Stables in Camo Estate has been built in 1811 and housed around 7 horses. They served as a forge for replacing shoes and ancillary accommodation. Camo House built starts in 1693 by John Menzies. This glamorous mansion was constructed to look over a vast landscape of trees, avenues and gardens. It's hard to imagine that this house in his best days consists of 20 rooms, kitchen pantries, cellars and many more. After being destroyed by fire in 1979, it has been partially demolished and left as a ruin. River Almond Walkway It's a definitely must-visit place in Edinburgh. Passing the 14th century Cramon Bridge, which is used frequently by walkers or cyclists. Crossing the bridge, you came across the ruins of Jock Howison Cottage. This walk is very easy and leads you towards Fair Afar Mill. The shell of the building still survives. This mill was water-driven and flat in 1935, destroying many buildings around. Sad story. But well, it's history. Ramon House itself is spectacular. Lined with the massive concrete designed during the World War II to stop boats and submarines from slipping through the high tide. Take a walk with me to the Ghost Island. This tiny 0.3 mile long island is littered with the concrete bunkers and from the island highest point you can see Fort Bridges, Fife and Edinburgh skyline. This is not the first time that I visit the Cramon Roman Fort. The fort was established around the early 2nd century and occupied until the 3rd century. 
One of the most famous archaeological finds is a sculpture known as the Kraman Lions. In Roman times, Emperor Septimius Severus began the last major Roman incursion into Scotland. The fort in this time was reoccupied and enlarged. I hope you enjoy my video, and if you like it, please subscribe, I appreciate it, thank you.